A lot of people are terrified of retiring because they don't know what will happen as soon as they stop receiving their salaries. Here is the ultimate retirement planning guide. Five steps to follow. Step one, make an assessment of your financial situation. Firstly, you need to make an account of all your assets and liabilities, including all sources of income and expenses. You can do so with the help of your financial advisor or retirement planner if this is something too complicated for you. Here are some guidelines on how to determine the value of your assets and liabilities. To calculate your assets, write down all your income sources, including monthly salary, rental income, dividends and interests from investments, and other income sources you may have on the side. Record the amount that is held in all your accounts for cash and savings. Determine the latest account value of your stock portfolio. Find out the current value of your house and other properties. List down the current worth of your retirement accounts, including pension and IRAs. To calculate your liabilities, you need to consider the balance of your house and car mortgage, as they are monthly liabilities. Write down the outstanding balance on your credit cards. Consider the monthly payments on all your insurance policies, including life, health, car, and house insurance. And lastly, make a list of any other bills you owe, including utility bills, medical expenses, subscription fees, and taxes. Knowing the value of your assets and liabilities and determining which one is higher will show you where you stand financially. This will serve as your guide in creating a realistic budget and achievable savings and investment goals for retirement. Step 2. Consider your time horizon. You need to identify your desired retirement age. The time frame that you have before retirement will dictate the level of risk tolerance on your portfolio. If you're still young and have 30 years or so before retirement, you can invest most of your money in riskier assets like stocks. Volatility will exist, but stocks are proven to have outperformed other types of investments including bonds, commodities, and even real estate over long periods of time. By long, it means 10 years or more. On the other hand, as you get older, your asset allocation should be more focused on capital preservation and income. This means that you should be invested in less riskier assets, such as bonds, that may not give you the same returns as stocks, but will have less volatility and provide you an income that will help you with your expenses. One thing to keep in mind is that your return should be able to beat inflation so that you can uphold your purchasing power by the time you retire. According to policymakers, an acceptable inflation rate is 2% and below. But in the latest U.S. annual inflation rate in August 2022, it sits at a whopping 8.3%. It varies from year to year, but do take note that if your investments are not able to outpace inflation, you are essentially losing money. Step 3. Recognize your retirement spending requirements. Do you know how much money you would need for a comfortable retirement? Having realistic expectations on your retirement spending needs will extremely help in getting a real picture of what type of retirement portfolio you should have. Some retirement experts argue that post-retirement needs should be equal to 70 to 90% of your pre-retirement expenses, while others advise that it should be 70 to 90% of pre-retirement income. Regardless, keeping this in mind helps you to be on track. Your expectations may prove untrue, particularly if you have unpaid mortgages or in the case of unexpected medical expenses. Therefore, it's essential to have a clear understanding of what to anticipate financially in order to establish an effective retirement plan. Write down a list of the things that you want to be a part of your lifestyle after you retire. Consider travel needs, hobbies, bucket list goals, so that your post-retirement income can accommodate them. The ability to live the sort of life you choose will be possible if you can save the needed amount of money for your retirement. You may even have a bit of extra to pass down to your children and grandchildren. Step 4. Save and invest your money. Financial experts suggest that one should set aside 10 to 20% of their paycheck to savings and investments. It can be apportioned into a savings account, taxable brokerage account, or your own side hustle that has the potential to supplement your income in the future. This means that you have to forego of the idea of instant gratification 
to make way for your desired lifestyle in your retirement years. Apart from your tax advantage retirement accounts, this portion of your income should be invested separately in various asset classes like stocks, bonds, and real estate, all of which will allow you to generate more passive income and even retire earlier than expected. But remember, don't keep all your eggs in one basket. This huge risk can single-handedly wipe out your entire investment portfolio. For example, investing all your money into a single stock can prove to be disastrous when hit with a negative stock news or market downturns. This risk can be substantially reduced by investing in diversified funds like ETFs and mutual funds. You should also consider holding a mixture of different asset classes, including commodities, currencies, and real estate that will help your investment portfolio cushion downturns. Each of them reacts differently in varying market conditions. They balance each other out when one is doing poorly, while the other is thriving. Before getting into step five, kindly hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on future videos. With that said, here is step five. Increase your current income now. One of the best ways to grow your retirement savings is to make more money now. You can do this by increasing your salary, either by job promotion or finding a better paying job. You will need to specialize in your industry and develop new skills to land a better job role. A better way to boost your income is to get a side hustle or build your own online business. Over the last 10 years, there has been an expansion in the freelance and gig economy. The 2020 pandemic has accelerated the rise of digital and remote work. This means that there has never been more opportunity to earn money than in today's growing digital market. It allows for more flexibility and convenience as you can start your own business in the comfort of your home without any rental or transport costs. It also provides high scalability as the internet allows you to reach a broader market. You can start an online tutoring business, create your own digital store, publish online content like articles and videos, and monetize your skills by selling your services to other content creators. Don't be afraid to start. There are a lot of ways to learn how to penetrate the ever-expanding digital economy. You can find a mentor, join an online course, or learn from free video tutorials on how to make money online. If you put in consistent work, you will earn more money from your side hustle than your job, that it may be able to supplement your entire salary, and you will have more freedom to choose when and how to spend your retirement years. Make sure to check out the next video, as you will surely get a ton of value from it. Thanks, and see you again!